It's important to be able to configure a wireless access point to connect to a radius server. And uh, just wanted to show how to do that real fast. Um, just using a basic Soho router here, a D-Link. And I'm in the wireless screen right now. Wireless is enabled. And uh, you know this is all our basic wireless information, but it's the wireless security mode that's gonna be where we set up a radius server. By default, a wireless access point like this doesn't use any security and you wanna make sure you turn it on. And you have uh, some options here. You can select from WEP, which is deprecated and not uh, really recommended. WPA personal and uh, WPA2 is really recommended and WPA Enterprise, which is really what the Radius server would be. Let's start with WA, uh, WPA Personal. If we scroll down a little bit here, WPA Personal gives us a lot of options. WPA or WPA2, I would normally select WPA2 only. And then the cipher type, TKIP or AES, well, I would go with AES only because TKIP is uh, deprecated as well. And then you select the pre-shared key or PSK. And it's the wireless device, it's the wireless access point that has this key and a person who wants to connect with a wireless client needs to know that PSK. But if we change the security mode up here to WPA Enterprise, well then that option as it says here will require an external radius server. We can still use WPA2, we could still use AES, but the actual authentication will be done at a radius server utilizing the extensible authentication protocol and 802.1x to authenticate those clients. So it's another layer of security. You will need to know the radius server's IP address. For example, if it's on the LAN, it could be something like 10.254.254.189. And then the radius port. The radius port by default is 1812. Older uh, systems might use 1645, or you might select a different port altogether, but by default, it's 1812 for radius authentication. Then there's a radius server shared secret, which the wireless access point must know. You set this up on the radius server, and then you type in that shared secret password here at the wireless access point. Now, the shared secret also flows through to the clients that are connecting, but in some cases, there may be a proxy or a go-between, and the client might ha have its own password with the proxy, and then the proxy has a password to the radius server. So that'll depend on your configuration. And by the way, the radius server is also known as an AAA server, the triple A server. Um, so you wanna keep that in mind. Sometimes it's referred to as AAA or just simply as a radius server. If we go to the advanced button, you can see that we can set up a secondary radius server or a backup radius server. So you can have that as well. So that's just the basics on how to set up the radius configuration within a wireless access point, thus taking care of authentication at the server instead of at the wireless access point itself. And it's another layer of security.